Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is December 20th, 2022, Tuesday of the fourth week of Advent. The first reading is from the book of Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz. Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. Responsorial Psalm Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean. Who desires not what is vain? Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord. A reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him. That seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. O Key of David. Opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom. Come and free the prisoners of darkness. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Luke. In the sixth month. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and coming to her, he said Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you but she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be then the angel said to her Do not be afraid, Mary for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. And you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? Since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Reflection Nothing is impossible to God. Mary needed to hear this in order to give her yes to the will of God. We too need reminding of this. Sometimes it is easy to forget that Mary was a very ordinary girl at the time of the angel Gabriel visiting her. How must she have felt upon hearing what was to take place? Here I am, this Advent, a servant before the Lord. God is waiting for my response. What do I reply? <laughs> 